2018 is here and one of the things that's really important to do is to have a plan as you go into the new year. What's up guys, my name is Cody and if you don't know who I am, my uh, YouTube channel is basically designed to help people get better at Madden. I do that through a variety of different ways. One of the main ways that I do that is through my ebook. So if you want to check those out, you can. They are in the description below and I recommend the premium membership, which is the defense that you will see in today's video. So Madden 2018 is upon us, and even more importantly, the new year, and with the new year comes New Year's resolutions. And I wanted to talk to you guys today about uh, what are the, some of the New Year's resolutions that Madden players need to make, and me, myself in particular, what are some of the things that if we did these things more consistently and maybe did these better, we would be better players? Well, in a nutshell, uh, I was watching a... Uh, news video and what I noticed in the news video was that the 2018 resolutions of the general public are pretty much the same every year everybody wants to lose weight everybody wants to get in shape everybody wants to get their finances in order everybody wants to do those things but the interesting thing is rarely do people do them and when 2019 comes the new year will be upon us and a lot of people will be making the same resolutions that they made for 2018 um, and and really what I'm what it boils down to and it's very similar in Madden um, a lot of people continually will talk about getting better. They will talk about what are the steps that they need to take to to really change uh, their game and make their game better and make themselves better players, but rarely do you see people truly progress from year to year. The people that you see progress from year to year, here's the, despi the, the deciding and distinguishing factor in the people that progress versus the people that don't. In my opinion, it comes down to two things. It comes down to focus and it comes down to discipline. Um, focus is the ability to have a singular purpose, singular focus, the ability to really hone in on your goal, whatever your goal may be. If you focus on that goal, most people get distracted by different things. I myself am as guilty as anybody. I get distracted by different formations that I want to try out, different plays. I get distracted by all of those things, just like everybody else does. The, the, the deciding factor is not in your ability to focus, it's in your decision to focus, okay? Focus is, is not necessarily a skill. In my opinion, it's much more of a discipline. Can you truly hone in on one goal? And so that's really important as you're playing the game. Because if you have a singular, if you have a singular focus, and I talk about this a lot with, uh, with my uh, playbooks. For my playbooks, what you'll see is, is I run very, very few formations. I run maybe one to two formations a game. I really don't run very much more than that. And over the over the break, while we were kind of hanging out and kind of in the holiday season, I was messing around with a bunch of different formations. I was trying to figure out, you know, what am I going to do for my next ebook? And one of the interesting things that I found in this was my offense severely declined, my defense severely declined, everything really uh, kind of went downhill. And in my opinion, the main reason is because I didn't have a singular focus. I was scattered and I was running all these different plays that I had never ran before um, and I just didn't have a plan. And in my opinion, that is why a lot of people will struggle with whatever their goal is in 2018. So if you want to be a better bad player, if you want to say, I want to get in the top 100, I want to get in the top five in the world, in my opinion, you can do those things. The problem is, most people don't take the steps that are necessary to accomplish the goal. It's not in necessarily the planning stage of the goal, it's in the execution. And I think this is a problem for a lot of people, myself included. And so as we head into 2018, here are some of the things that I would suggest you do if you truly want to get into the top 100 in uh, Madden 18. The first thing that you need to do is you need to develop a plan. And obviously we all start at the plan, but the problem is you can't just stay there. You have to develop a single plan that is simple, concise, and easy to follow. The plan should be able to fit on an index card. So for me, I know that every time I log on to Madden, I'm going to play, uh, I'm going to run all of my plays in a solo challenge before I go into an online match. This is a great way to get yourself warmed up uh, to, to keep you from making a lot of mistakes that you'll make if you don't. Another thing that you might maybe want to, maybe one of the next steps that you would want to put on that, on that plan is I am going to run the same playbook for the, the rest of the season. To me, that's that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stay in Pittsburgh. I started the season in Pittsburgh, and then I got out of it, and I got back in it. I gave away the free bunch guide. If you'd like the free bunch guide, just leave your email in the comments, and we can get that to you. But I gave out the free bunch guide to all you guys, and it's literally what I'm running. This is, my opinion, the best offense in the game right now, um, the, the, the shotgun bunch, at least for me. The way that I'm running it out of Pittsburgh, I don't see very many people running it. 
the exact way. I see a lot of people running bunch, but the very the, the specific plays that I use, especially tight end hook, most people don't run that. Okay. So, anyways, that's something that you might want to consider. Um, you know, do I only run one playbook for the rest of Madden uh, 2018? The last thing that I would suggest is if you're really wanting to get in the top 100 in Madden 18, you have to make a consistent um, a consistent plan for how many games do I need to win per day to uh, to get there. So most people don't, myself included, most people can't play more than two to three games a day and really play well. Most people can't do that. Uh, even if you watch the Madden challenges and the tournaments, they don't play a million games, right? They play one two games that, you know, they really don't play like 14 games at the most they play four. So that to me is something that you could definitely consider. That's going to help you because, um, what that does is if you only play a few amount of games, then now the games that you're playing, you're going to be so much better in those specific games because you're focusing. So I would also recommend limiting the amount at which you play the game per day to maybe one to two hours. Okay, and, and this is going to help you because this is um, going to allow you some slack to be able to make those games quality games, not just, you know, I'm going to run, you know, kind of run up the score or whatever. This allows you now the necessary, what I would call margin to be able to really focus in when you're playing. Okay, so those are some things that I would suggest that you do. If this is your first time checking out my YouTube channel, I want to encourage you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you have not already, check out the free bunch guide. Uh, again, it's completely free. All you need to do is leave your email in the comments of this video, and I will send it right to your email inbox. Um, sorry, guys, for a little bit of a break. I know I was gone for about a week. Looking forward to getting back in. Uh, just so everybody knows, everybody's on the same page, I will be uploading uh, about two videos per day, and I have two ebooks that are on the way. They should be out within the next week or so. So thanks for watching, and we guys will see you guys in the 